this is not what I expected today. You get a call from your dad, he says, my car died in the middle of Schillinger. Can you come move it? So what do you do? You move it. Here we go. Printing plus. Let's see if they got my signs ready. Hey, Neil. Hey, man. We are back and ready to go. Man, wow, I think it turned out great. You guys did a great job. Hey, but I thought I'd ask you to smooth out these wrinkles right here. You couldn't do that for me? Nah, I can't fix that for you. <laughs> that's all on you. That's age, man. Dude, that's great. I appreciate it. Sweet. Well, couldn't ask for anything better. Super convenient. Got the little bonus. May do something like this too. I'm thinking I'm out like that. Good. Sweet. Man, thank you so much. Yes, sir. I'll keep you posted, man. You As know, I'll, always, be, I appreciate you I'll be ordering another one next week. Yep. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So, th you know, thinking about putting a commercial sign, having a commercial listing right across the street from the Coast Guard. I mean, tons of traffic. And then if you go to Faith Academy, well, you got to go this way anyway. So I figured I would take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, lots of eyeballs, just lots of people are going to see this and, you know, really hope that that I can start to brand myself. Um, you know, just trying to get my name out there, not just in West Mobile, but also in Tanner Williams area, Sims, you know, up to Sarah Land, all of that, really trying to grow that. Uh, and the way you do it, it's just one listing, one sign at a time. This, this, this. All right, so we are good. Hey, I don't want to drill a hole in my face, Dad. Can't do that. Let's just go right here. Now, to sell it. That's when the real work begins. So, I really want to see what this sign looks like as somebody just driving down the road. You know, I really want to make sure, number one, with branding, you got to get your name and your image out there. Number two, with your brokerage, that's important got to get Keller Williams out there, got to let people know who you're associated with. Um, and number three, which really should be the most important thing, is telling about the property itself. So you really want to make sure that people can find out enough of what they need just by looking at the sign. And for this, it's 3.3 acres. It's really all you need to know. <laughs> yep, large and in charge. You know, the greatest thing you can do as a realtor is hire a professional photographer. However, when you're dealing with land, commercial property, it's not, it's not really necessary because it's land. You don't have to do any, any editing, but it's important to know what to capture. And so, you know, I'll take way more photos than I actually need. And then you get home, look at the computer, and then you're able to kind of tweak uh, the details. And you can really... Um, you know, you want to feature the trees. If there's some really tall trees, uh, old oaks, and you want to feature that. Uh, you got access over here to another paved road. You want to feature that. Access to paved roads is a big deal. So a couple things to keep in mind, but basically just take way more than you need so that when you get to where you can edit it, then you can pick and choose the best photos. I would have loved to have had some drone footage, but you can't do that when you're right across the street from the Coast Guard base. You can't even ask permission. You can't think about it. There's no way you're going to get a drone that close to the Coast Guard base. So you just have to use your imagination and go to the uh, county tax records and uh, Google Earth and use your imagination. All right. Are the buyers moving forward with the septic location pool? Hey, man, comma. I sent over the message you requested to the buyer's agent about once they are satisfied with the septic location and field lines, comma, then after they give us the green light, comma, we will then go ahead and have the septic tank inspected, period. Sent that to her this morning and waiting for a reply. So this land, this is actually uh, 15 acres and it's gonna go live next week. So I can't show you the exact location but this is gonna get a lot of inquiries. Uh, 15 acres, about 300 feet of frontage. You go back over a thousand feet. I mean, it is, it is really a beautiful piece of property, lots of trees. And in the middle, um, there's, I think there's like a stream and you can develop it into a pond. 
like an oasis. I mean, this place is incredible. I didn't exactly wear my snake boots today, but I think this is where I'm gonna stop right here. Wood infestation report scheduled for Thursday. And that is good news. Yes. Do you feel like there's any anything that would be questionable or worth, you know, uh, talking to about? Okay. What I want to do on your behalf is obviously talk with the buyer's agent to see if we can have them reduce what we're giving them uh, in seller's contribution. All right, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted, and uh, we'll definitely have something for you tonight, okay? All right, thanks, man. All right. See you. All right, bye. Whew, man, I hate those phone calls, but it's part of it, and uh, you just got to make the best of it and fight for your buyer or for your seller, uh, but you also have to live in reality. Oh, man, driving down Schillinger, Chick-fil-A. I should be eating there right now. I have not had lunch today, but that's what happens. You, you miss lunch sometimes when you're working in real estate because it is full, just all out, all the time. Hello. Hey. Hey, sweetheart. How are you doing? Huh? Where are you going again? I'm uh, visiting one listing now. Got to check on it. Um, and then I've got to go to another listing and check on some work that was done last week to make sure it's ready for the inspector next week. All right, babe. Love you. Love you too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. So we got about a week and a half and this under contract sign will be gone and it will say sold on it. So I'm excited about that. But in the meantime, what's up with these mushrooms? I mean, I guess they're growing their own mushroom garden. I did not put that in the listing, but I probably should have. Um, yes, mushrooms are popular in Spring Grove. Now let's go inside, make sure the air is set on a uh, decent temperature. No need in wasting the power bill. Oh yeah. <sighs> and we just had the air conditioning replaced brand new AC unit last week and it is feeling nice. All right, check everything else. Make sure there are no squatters in the vacant house. And it rained a couple nights ago pretty hard. So anytime I have a listing, I like to go into the house. I like to double check the ceilings, make sure there are no issues with the roof, no rain damage, because that would be a disaster. Yep, everything looks good. Double check the locks. And we should be good to go. And now on to the next listing. So you need to slap this pending sign on here so that everyone will know that it is off the market. So with this house, this went into pending about two weeks ago. It's right around the corner from where I live, so I'm able to come by and check on it at least every other day. I like to double check and make sure that everything is good. No roof leaks because of the rain. Make sure the air, everything's good. So one time I was in a house and I uh, walked in to check on it and I heard the hot water heater and all I heard was Psss. Of course I ran to the hot water heater and water was spewing out everywhere. And uh, yeah, those are the kind of, uh, I guess, surprises that you don't like. But what did I do? I ran home, got a bunch of beach towels, cleaned it up and went on with my day. Just another day in real estate. So the buyers, uh, they love this backyard, but they want to put a pool back here. And so we had to find out where the septic tank was, and then we had to find out where the field lines went. But the problem is when we called the county, they didn't have any record of it. And that was a disaster because we thought, well, we know there's one in here. We just don't know where it is. So finally, I was able to connect with somebody at the county, and he discovered the septic tank is actually right, right about here, and then field lines go out this way. So if you're building a pool, the best place to build it would be trim back these trees and put it right there or in the very back. But regardless, this is about an acre of land and uh, wow, it's an amazing place, but we got an accepted offer and so this house will probably be closed in about two to three weeks. That's good news. And no day is complete without a trip to Fusaklis. 
extra fries, and I want a medium Dr. Pepper. So I had a really full day, which is good. I like having a full day, but the problem is uh, there's still loose ends that have to be tied up, and the best way for me to tie that up is to come into the office. I can sit at my computer, and I can really focus and get the most done. So let's head upstairs. And they have the elevator, but I refuse, I refuse to take the elevator. Hello? You doing all right? Doing good, how are you? Doing good. So one of the things about you know having listings, obviously you have to stay on top of things. You upload it into the MLS, and that's very important. Um, you can't just say land for sale. You have to craft the message perfectly and talk about the details and give just enough so that whoever's looking at it will want to look at it more and inquire, give you a phone call. Um, so that's the deal, and uh, that's what I'm about to do. I got to write the description so that it entices buyers. So the great part about working in an office like this is. You know, there are always folks you can, you can talk to if you need help, ask advice, you're just not quite sure, or if you just need somebody to listen. Yeah, it's great about that. So I'm going to check in on my friend here. Hey. What's hey, up? how you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? Nothing much, just manning the phones, doing yeah. my thing, following up with oh. some contacts. Well, what's your, uh, what would you say is the highlight of your day today? Today is the highlight. I got a listing appointment. You did? Yeah. That's awesome. It's awesome. Well, good. Yes, it is. That's great. So, I'll um, tell you what. Right here, <laughs> killing it. So, look, well, you inspire me. Look, you know. and you inspire me, and that—that that is. Oh, I know it. Right. I know you're right. Good to, good to see you. You too, darling. Take care. Take care. All right. Here it is. Vlog number one. I mean, my goal is to bring you guys into the life of what I do on a daily basis. So, hey, be sure and like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And then I want you to leave a comment. And here's what I want you to comment. I want you to ask the question you've always wanted to know about real estate. You know, before I became a real estate agent, I had all these questions. So leave a comment below and ask your question and I will answer it. But be sure and like and subscribe and you'll be notified the next time my video drops next week.